when I had an emergency housing situation. I went up to housing options. I came up with another woman with the two children. They turned us away. My best friend's uh, two children got very stressed out because we had very little money. So we basically had to go to a private hostel and we succeeded to pay one bed and then they said that they can't be in there because it has to be a mixed room. A child cannot sleep in a female room. And so we had all kinds of problems, even in paying hostel. So nobody was really, you know, able of helping the other one because they're not supposed to. My friend needed to do something for a child. She's not supposed to bring the child into job center. She's not supposed to bring the child in here and there and there. So it means she had to leave the child with me to be able to do something. It means I couldn't get a handout and I couldn't do the work. The hardest part is to look a young person or a hurt person in the eyes and say, I am trying, but on the other hand, the people who are supposed to do something are always looking with the eyes of, what did you do to come into this situation? They don't see the situation of people trying to struggle to get out of the situation. They're only looking to, what did you do wrong? Well, I become um, homeless was personal reasons. And um, because you live on top of people, you need to live on their rules. And the day you become homeless, there's no way that anyone is going to access you to help you. And since you're not a priority, they're not going to listen to you. You don't have kids or you don't have I don't know, alcohol problem or drugs problem. Wherever you go, they say like, you're not a priority. And they're kind of forcing you to get, to do things what you're not ready for. They're not listening to you. They don't want to listen. Um, we have to find a way to sleep. Like days that I go to the, um, trying to find safe places, like, police station or whatever. And they told me like, there's no hotel or whatever. Don't come here, we no hotel. They tell you to leave. So you back outside again. In 1976, the UK ratified the Convention on Economic and Social and Cultural Rights of the United States Nation. As a member, the UK must recognize the right of everyone to an adequate standard of living, including housing. The responsible UN committee interprets this to mean, among the other things, that the right to housing should be ensured to all persons, irrespective of income or access to economic resources. Access to shelter has to be a legal entitlement, not charity. 